The best way to hold your paintbrush for acrylic painting? You seem to have a heavy hand. Yeah, um, it all depends on what you're doing, really. Um, a lot of art professors will ask you to hold the brush uh, further toward the back and to use more of your arm and um, maybe one finger on the brush or, or you know, sort of like this, like a baseball bat style. A lot of uh, art professors, painting professors, will ask you to hold your brush in this manner. It's sort of uh, very loose and then you're using your whole arm to paint. That's great for a certain kind of painting. If you have large canvases and you're using large brushes, even this is quite a small brush. This is what, a 12? Yeah, this is a 12. Um, but if you have a large brush, maybe a two inch brush, three inch brush, you probably do want to use more of your arm. Um, I'm, uh, I happen to be a realist painter. And so I hold my brush very much like I hold a pencil and paint like that. What professors want to get you away from um, when they ask you not to hold your brush like this is the idea that when people who like art, who have practice art, usually you start with drawing before you go to painting. And uh, the if you're used to holding a pencil like this, when you move to painting, you probably hold your paintbrush the same way. And what you end up doing then is instead of painting, you draw with paint. So that is to say, you, you try to use the same technique that you would use if you were do, using, say, color pencils or, or graphite, you know, just a regular pencil, uh, with paint, and you try to draw with paint. That's a problem. It can work, but it is a problem because painting is its own thing. Um, and the way painting layers on top of each other uh, just just the textures of it. It's, it's really quite different than drawing. So uh, that's why I, I think professors ask you to when you change your grip, you more easily dissociate the idea of drawing with paint from painting. Uh, so that, yeah, that's that's why I think but really, uh, there's no best way to, uh, Twyla, there's no best way to hold your brush, despite what professors would would tell you. Uh, I, as a professional artist, I would tell you that hold your brush whatever way works best for you, whatever way is comfortable for you, whatever way motivates you to paint more. The goal is to paint more. Uh, that's how you get better, is, is by painting. There's no, if, if this is how you hold a brush, or if this is how you hold a brush, or if that's how you hold a brush, it really doesn't matter as long as you're, you are holding that brush and you are painting. Um, that's what I would say. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of weird to gatekeep how to hold a brush. Um, but uh, as long as you know the motivation, what they're asking is, is to use your arm and to be loose and free and, uh, and not so tight and controlled as you would with a pencil. That's what they're, that's what they're trying to get you to do.